<laughs> one of the one of the most famous economists who emphasized who was sympathetic with the American scene um, was not Moulton but Joseph Schumpeter. Joseph Schumpeter wrote his thesis uh, in 1912, okay. um, and he emphasized the importance of banking for economic development. Um, and this was an ide fixe for him for his, the rest of his life, okay. that he said that, that it's really important to have banks that are willing, uh, I'm going to erase this now so I can write something else, to have banks that are willing to do this kind of long-term finance, I'll call this a development bank, that is willing to expand its balance sheet long term development loans. What is this? Money market funding of capital market of capital market lending. Okay? Long term finance that's funded short term. He said, this is important. We can't rely on this mechanism where you're selling bonds to some saver here. We have to be able to create new money. That's what this is. This is creating new money to give to entrepreneurs so that they can then go, they don't have to save it, okay? They don't have to get somebody who has saved it to give it to them. It's created from nothing. It's created from nothing through this balance sheet magic, this alchemy of banking, okay? To say that is to, is to start courting being a money, monetary crank or something, and, and Strumpeter was not a monetary crank, okay? And so now, now I've got to show you how this worked. What disciplines this system? What disciplines this system? If you're, if you're going to uh, expand your balance sheet, what, what, what prevents you from, what, this looks like it's free and like it's a free lunch. But uh, expanding your balance sheet to, to, finance, to finance development um, is not the same thing as bread from as bread from heaven. Okay, and we're going to and we're going to see that in a minute. Okay, development finance. Another other couple names there. Schumpeter was a big fan of a of a fellow named H. D. McLeod, who was from Scotland, and he emphasized the importance of exactly this kind of thing for the uh, financial for for the development of Scotland. Um, uh, a essentially non-monetary economy, um, which was then monetized using this, and, and so mobilizing resources that were were were, were uh, scarce. Um, if you've had a course in in economic development, you might have come up against the Lewis model, uh, of uh, it, which is which is about a an economy where most of the labor force is working uh, in subsistence agriculture and is very unproductive because they're just living on the farm there. And he, and he emphasizes the importance of banking for mobilizing that, that, scare, that resource, that surplus resource that's, that's sitting out of the countryside and getting them moving into the, moving into the cities and, and into the factories and so forth. So this, this use of banking as a tool of development is not just a hobby horse of Moulton and Schumpeter. It's not particular to, to America. Okay. It's a... It's a, it's a uh, a serious thing. Usually, people who study development um, um, are, are real side people, um, and I think that's a shame. Okay, they think it's a, they think it's about technology or about skills or about education or something. Uh, I think about half of the development course should be about finance, personally. Okay, um, and starting starting from these kinds of insights uh, here. But hey, I would say that, wouldn't I?